A Chinese telescope just captured the clearest image yet of 3 i Atlas, an object racing through our solar system from another star. But while the world sees a blur of light, some are asking, why is NASA so quiet? What's in this image that space agencies aren't talking about? On July 1, 2025, a faint, fast-moving object appeared in data from the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, better known as ATLAS, a survey telescope based in Chile. The detection came through an automated sweep of the southern sky, meant to spot potentially hazardous asteroids near Earth. Instead, it found something the software didn't quite understand. Initially logged as C225N1, astronomers soon realized this object was not from our solar system at all. Within a matter of days, orbital calculations revealed an eccentricity greater than one, a clear signature of an interstellar trajectory. It was officially reclassified as 3I Atlas, the third confirmed object ever detected from beyond our solar system. To grasp how rare that is, remember that the first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, was found in 2017, and the second, Tuai Borisov, in 2019, now only six years later. A third arrival, 3I Atlas, crossed our sky. That short list makes every new detection historic, because each interstellar object carries with it the chemistry, structure, and secrets of another star system entirely. What startled astronomers wasn't just that it came from beyond our sun, but how fast it was moving. 3I Atlas cut through the solar system at nearly 60 kilometers s, entering from an unusually high inclination angle, a direction that no known solar body follows. That speed means one simple striking truth. It will never return. Gravity from the sun or any of the planets isn't enough to pull it back. This is a one-way passage through our neighborhood, a brief encounter before it vanishes back into the darkness between stars. Observers from NASA, ESA, China and Europe immediately started tracking it. Telescopes around the world coordinated to capture its path, from Hawaii to the European Southern Observatory in Chile and the Purple Mountain Observatory in China. Each image taken was another puzzle piece, each night of data helping refine its path and speed. It became clear that this wasn't just another comet. Its light was dim, its color flat and its orbit alien. Scientists described it as a ghost. Moving through the solar system, every photon from 3i Atlas carried the weight of distance, light that had been traveling for millions of years through interstellar dust before meeting our detectors. What we're seeing isn't simply a visitor. It's a messenger from a different birthplace, a relic of a planetary system that once was, now crossing paths with ours. In the story of interstellar science, 3i Atlas marks another chapter in our growing awareness that the universe is far more connected than we thought. These wanderers don't just visit. They remind us that star systems are not isolated islands, but part of a larger cosmic ocean, where debris, ice and rock trade places over eons. As this new traveler entered our field of view, telescopes worldwide prepared for something bigger, the moment we'd see it clearly for the first time. The clearest shot in a roll of telescopes. When images of 3i Atlas first appeared, they didn't impress, a faint blur in a noisy sky. But in September 2025, one frame stood out, claimed by some to come from a Chinese telescope, possibly the Purple Mountain Observatory. It was labeled the clearest shot yet of an interstellar object. But clarity here didn't mean sharp detail. It meant successful tracking of a faint, fast target. At magnitude 17, 3i Atlas is dimmer than most known comets and moves fast, nearly 60 kilometers. Telescopes had to adjust in real time to follow it. Stars in the background became streaks, but the object held its place. To reveal it, astronomers took multiple long exposures, stacked and filtered them, correcting for noise and atmospheric distortion. What emerged wasn't a point of light, but a soft, elongated smear. No visible surface, no glowing core. Still, this blur held meaning. Its shape, direction and brightness curve hinted at physical structure. Some say the best image came from ground-based telescopes like Gemini South or even Hubble, but most agree multiple observatories saw the same form. As one astronomer said, we didn't stop it. We learned to move with it. That image became the base for every measurement, size, spin, composition, but it also opened new questions about what this object is and what it refuses to reveal. Zooming in on the best image of 3i Atlas revealed no crisp edge, 
no nucleus, just a stretched blur, soft at one end, uneven at the other. Unlike typical comets, there was no tail, no coma. It looked like motion frozen mid-frame, but it wasn't noise. Across nights, the shape stayed the same, a sign of real elongation, possibly from rotation or closely bound fragments. Some think it's spinning so fast that it appears smooth like a waterfall in a long exposure photo. Then came its reflectivity test, only 2 to 3% albedo, darker than asphalt. That's nearly invisible in space. It reflects almost no sunlight and emits no heat. What we see is barely there, a shadow of reflection. Even stranger, it had no color. Most comets glow faintly green or blue from gases like cyanogen, but 3i Atlas did not. Interstellar dust, processed by cosmic rays over millions of years, left it dark and neutral. That dust, rich in tholins, cancels color at a distance. This is what age looks like in light. A researcher said, it doesn't glow, it remembers. And just as scientists accepted its stillness, signs of activity appeared, outbursts from an object too far to be active. Something about 3i Atlas refused to fit the rules. Despite its dark, quiet appearance, 3i Atlas wasn't dead. In fact, it began to behave like a comet waking up, but in ways that defied expectations. Observations in August 2025 revealed something shocking. A plume of hydroxyl radicals, OH, a clear sign that water was sublimating from its surface. But the comet was still beyond five astronomical units from the Sun, a region where ice should stay frozen solid. This wasn't supposed to happen. Comets only get active closer in, when sunlight can heat their volatile materials. Yet 3i Atlas had begun venting gas far from the heat, as if it carried volatile compounds unknown in our own solar system. Then came the reports of an anti-tail, a strange, narrow tail pointing toward the sun, not away from it. Anti-tails are rare, and often the result of specific viewing angles and unusual dust patterns, but this one stood out. It held together too well with unusual symmetry. It hinted at a dust structure that wasn't just being pushed by solar wind, but possibly ejected in a controlled jet from one side of the object. Spectral analysis brought even stranger findings. Researchers detected nickel and cyanide, elements that do appear in comets but in odd ratios, and notably no trace of iron. This composition raised red flags. Where did it form? What kind of star system ejects a body rich in nickel and carbon but lacking metallic iron? The surface compounds offered more clues. The dark grey tone paired with organics suggested the presence of tholins, complex molecules baked into the surface by millennia of cosmic exposure. Combined with faint signs of carbon dioxide ice, it painted a picture of an object that had drifted through space for millions of years untouched. One scientist described it as a comet that forgot how to be a comet. All these findings pointed towards something very different, an object born in another solar system with its own chemistry, pressures and heat thresholds. Not only was 3i Atlas older, but it seemed chemically foreign, proof that planets formed differently across the galaxy. But as the data got stranger, so did the challenges. The very tools built to study comets began to struggle. Models stopped working. Shapes didn't match formulas. It was becoming clear this wasn't just a weird comet. This was something we didn't have a name for. Capturing 3i Atlas pushed technology to its edge. At magnitude 17, the object was barely brighter than the background sky. Moving at 60 kilometers, even short exposures turned it into a streak. Astronomers had to track it in real time, letting stars blur while keeping the object in focus. Dozens of exposures were stacked, filtered and corrected, removing cosmic rays, atmospheric noise and telescope drift. Each pixel became data, carefully refined. But even after all that, the image stayed ambiguous. A stretched blur, not quite a dot, not quite a streak. When scientists tried to analyze it with standard comet models, nothing fit. Tools designed to measure coma size, brightness curves, and tail direction gave inconsistent results. The object's shape shifted depending on the algorithm. This object doesn't want to be measured, one astronomer said. The more we pushed to define it, the more it refused definition. It didn't behave like anything we've seen. That uncertainty led to a deeper question. Maybe this wasn't just an unusual comet. Maybe it was something entirely different. From the beginning, 3i Atlas didn't behave like a normal comet. It lacked a distinct coma, its tail was inconsistent, 
and its light curve wasn't shaped by solar heating the way we'd expect. And yet it wasn't quite an asteroid either. The object's low reflectivity, strange outgassing and rotating brightness pattern suggested something in between. Normally, comets from our solar system display a well-understood set of behaviours. They heat up, spew gases, and form visible tails aligned with the sun. But 3i Atlas broke that logic. Its structure seemed more like a fragment, perhaps an icy shard from a planetary collision, than a classical comet.